like this company is like this. Yes. Yeah. Like, okay, you just gotta thank you. Thank you, face man. Alright guys, let's count them off. Let's count them off. How many are we? One, two, three, four, five. Wow, five. Welcome, the first five, ever. Five, two in the back. There, that this doesn't really help. Two, <laughs> two more outside. Yeah, two more outside. The five for the purposes of this filming. Five speaking on behalf of thousands. That's awesome. Give yourselves a very small round of applause. Drop your wings. Drop your wings. Did they move? They yeah, they did. actually did. Oh, good. Okay. okay. I didn't elevate, but you know that's okay. <laughs> Take these off. Oh, you cheeky one. Yeah. Okay, we'll do it after. Yeah, we'll do it at the end. Okay, crash. Sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Today we're going to be running through the gamut of surface area and volume. I'm excited. Oh, oh. look out. <laughs> Semi amused face. <laughs> Like a half smile. Mm. Biometry is back. They were under there. Yeah, what's my character's name? Biometry. Biometry. Oh, or geometry. Or geometry, yeah. Who the heck? Biometry. So, first, let's run through it. It's going to be awesome. Let's talk about surface area. Yay, math? Let's draw. Yay, math? Yay, math! Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Patent pending. <laughs> yes. I will watch that. <laughs> so, we're going to draw a pyramid now. Okay. We're gonna draw a square pyramid. So what you can do, notice I've drawn half a square in its um, in perspective. <coughs> and we're coming up to one point. So you can come down over here. And remember we talked about last time this idea of dotted lines for the back. So there's my back. Some people maybe want to actually draw your square, then connect everything, and then make your back lines dotted. Either way. Okay. And we're going to talk about the surface area. What's surface area mean, basically? What does surface area? What does it mean? Ooh. Ooh we're ready. <laughs> what does surface area mean? Like the whole thinking. area of a shape? Or yes, the or whole area. So what do you mean by the whole area? You're right. Like all the faces? All the faces, right. There we go. <laughs> Fly like a bumblebee, buzz. Oh, that pen bending. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, pen bending. So, yes, let's talk about it. Um, how many faces do you count? One, two, three, four, five. Five, yeah, there are five faces. Five, like five people four, in this class. Where's the base? Yeah, so let's talk about it. We have the lateral area. How many faces and what type of shape are the lateral area? Triangles and technically four. So four triangles. They will not see that. I see that. Okay, you see it? And then we have one base. So the base is what type of shape? We call it a yes. square in this case. So we can put this down. This is a square pyramid. Mm. So let's very, first very calculate. Little. What's that? Very literal. It is, yeah, it's, it's well named. So let's actually create or calculate the surface area of the square pyramid. Um, supposing that uh, we'll call the base edge four, that's a given, and then we'll rock out with this right here. Let's call that five. Okay. All right, now, is this five the height of the pyramid itself? No. No, yeah. it's not. The height would be right down the middle, wouldn't it? From like the tip to the bottom. From the tip all the way to the middle of the bottom. You're right. That would be the height. That would be the altitude. This five here. Is it like the altitude? Is it like the. This is the Greenland's altitude. Try again. Do you know what it is? Apothem. Oh. That's also a good guess. No, it's not the apothem. That, that's for. I know it's like a word shapes. like we know, but if we did, don't say it. Yeah, we don't say it all the time. I'm going to put it here. Blank height. This. Base height. This, that, well, it's not the base. Oh. I'll put it down. It's actually, it's slant good that you, height. it is. Oh. It's good that you don't know in a way, because now you're learning. It's called the slant height, this five here. Okay. Take this off for a second. Just be sort of cool be in the shade. <laughs> <laughs> so let's calculate the area of one triangle. Now, can you isolate in your mind this side triangle? Mm -hmm. And maybe we could even draw it right over here. So this we have, I'm going to color it, 
colored appropriately. I see what you, I see. I took the face off, but the five here and the four here, right? Let's get the area of this triangle. Oh, I know it. What's the formula for every triangle? A equals one half b times a. Yeah. I just don't say it. One half b times a. One half b times a. I memorized it. It's just, it's, like, it's just like that important, you know? Yeah. Pretty much is. I mean, it's half a square if you want to not memorize it. If you know that this is base times height. And this mm. is a square, this is one half base mm. times out of the triangle. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Conceptually. All right, let's do it. One half, half what's the five base? Five times four. Yes, can we call the base four? Yes. No, we no. call it five. We call five. No, no four. You, you can call it four. You can technically, mathematically, you're allowed. But let's try to be formal about it and oh. that this base is four. Mathematically, it will be the same thing. Yeah. Does that make sense? So I'll put four here for this base. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I got to show my footwear. I think you're the way. tallest bee that ever lived. <laughs> probably, 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 probably. Bee. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Probably. It's very hard probably. to get in and out of entrance. Probably. I hit my head a lot. Probably. Um, what does this become? Ten. Ten. So the area of one triangle is ten. Thus, what's the area of all the triangles? Forty. Confirm. I confirm it. Yes, I do. Confirm. Mm -hmm. Area of one triangle is 10. How many triangles exist? Four. Each one is 10. Thus, all together, it makes? 40. Confirm. You're not hey. just nodding. You're not just nodding. You, you're actually confirming? Yes, you did. Oh, I'm, I'm confirming that each area of the triangle is 10. Yes, I see it. I see it. And so if there's four triangles? OK. Well done. Yes. So that would be? Yes. 40 right here, let's put it in blue. Lateral area is 40. And now what's the area of the base? Well, we just take base times height. Correct. So we know that. And it's a square pyramid. I wish I knew what this was. Four. Four. It totally is. <clears throat> what is the base area? Don't we have to find. Isn't it 16? Are you comfortable with 16? I think I'm early that works. I'm glad you do. Do you see the bottom base is a square? Edge four by four. Thus, the area of the base is 16. Any questions? Wait, so four? When we did the 10, we got the lateral area. The lateral, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lateral, not the total lateral area, yeah. but it was one triangle. Yeah. So each of those were 10, mm -hmm. wrapped all the way around, it's okay. 40 altogether. So we don't have to find the, um, the, the, like the height? No, we height. don't. No. We're, think of surface area like painting. Imagine you have this little model pyramid and you want to know how much paint to put on it. So you're painting four triangles and you're painting the bottom. So you're not really accessing the middle. So we're not going like inside it. It's basically like how big you need one panel. It's like you're, you have a bunch of different panels and you're trying to find out how one panel. How much space it takes. Okay. So how big would be correct? How much is actually on it? Like how much it yeah, is? Yeah, on it, correct. So you're not really accessing the interior altitude okay. very nice. So that's pretty much it. What's the total surface area? Lateral area is 40. What's the total surface area? 56. It is. <laughs> Summer school in the morning. Can't yeah. blame you. Can't blame you. 56. Let's go to units squared for surface area. Any questions? Okay, great. Let's do one more of these, and then we'll move on to volume. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go. Hexagonal um, pyramid. What? So here we have. Here, I'm going to walk you through step by step. See that? All right. So I'll make it up. a little bit longer. A little bit longer yet to provide some perspective. And now we're going to come up from corners. Now we see three of the faces. You come up and they meet at the top. Come and meet at the top, that's right. Are they just straight lines? Yeah, straight lines, right to the vertex here, to the top. And now in the back, you complete your elongated hexagon with dotted lines. We'll make it look like a ruby, basically. Ruby. <laughs> oh my god, it's so funny. I, I need you to do those because I'm so immersed. <laughs> There you go. Again, not a Picasso, but it'll do the job. 
Oh my god, I did it. B Picasso. <laughs> we did it. Uh, we did it. B Picasso. Yeah, so let's go. Base edge. Six. Uh, what would you like the slant height to be? Hey, come on in. Enjoy. Uh, yeah. What would you like the slant height to be? Eight. Nine. Um, let's go smaller. Okay, smaller. How about two? So two, I mean, it's not to scale then. It'll be like really flat. Oh, yeah. So we could be like ten. Four. We'll do four. Ten. Three is fine. Ten, you want to do ten? Well, we did eight. Let's do eight then. One, yeah, eight, eight's good. Eight was the first one. Let's do eight. Oh, yeah. Okay, eight we got. Eight's cool. Okay, now, we have to break this down into pieces. With your hands, please show me how many total faces exist on this. That is the lateral. That's lateral. Oh, total yes. faces. Total faces. Yes. 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 Come back to you. Corn's mad. Total faces. Correct. Correct. For those of you that want to try now, how many lateral faces only? Yeah. Okay, look. Do you agree it's a hexagon? Yeah. Okay, and if it's a hexagon, how many triangles would there meet each of these? There would. So there's six lateral triangles and one um, base. hexagonal base. Yeah, very good. So let's go ahead and do lateral area first. Tell you what, I'm going to go by. Why don't you take a minute and calculate the uh, six triangles? The area of the six triangles. I'm going to do it here when you're ready. Look up. Oh, yes. Okay, I think I got it. Wait. I have it. I like to do one triangle and then multiply by six. It makes the most sense for me. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay. Yeah. So this is one forty-four. That one forty-four. One forty-four. Bravo. One forty-four. Okay. Half the problem's done. We've okay. done the lateral area. Now we're gonna do the area of the hexagonal base. So I would suggest that we redraw it over here. Now, when you redraw it, you're going to redraw in two dimensions. Redraw in two dimensions, like you take it and then you paste it on here. Notice this is in three dimensions, so it has a little slant, a little perspective. Okay, now I'm redrawing it so I can work with it in two dimensions. This is, this is pro, this is the way to do it, okay? So it's like if you were to take the like triangle. Like if you were math pros. Yeah, it's like you take the triangle off and I'm looking down from yeah. above, right on, right on. Actually, it looks like one of my honeycombs, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, so, like, if you like, were to like, I feel, I feel like I'm at home. Yeah. Like, those brushing triangles. Off, brushing and you, like, off. and you like peeled them, like you peeled one back, you yeah. peeled it back, you peeled yeah. it back, peeled it back, peeled it back, and you took them off. Exactly. You do have that shape. And I would not sting you for doing that. This is my home. Okay. And I worked really hard for this. Just you know, enjoy. And I won't. So I'm sting allowed you. to take the honey. Yeah, I'm giving it to you. It's a new era. You no, know, Winnie. Just, you know, he's. Yeah, he's you know, it's, it's, it's old school. No, yeah. this is the real. This is, this is, yeah. flap it up. Honey comes down like that. I'm gonna it's flap beautiful. you upside your head. It's flap beautiful. <laughs> it's delicious. Six. Oh my god. Do you recall oh <laughs> the formula for the area of a regular shape? Yes. Isn't that A equals A times P over two? Yes. Yes, we'll write that down. So the base, so this is triangle here. And then we have the area of the hexagon. Let's go one half times perimeter times A. Remind me, what's the little A mean again? Apothem. Apothem, very nice. The apothem. Sounds like some proper like apothem. Apothem city. Apothem city. And now we need, well, I bet you we can get one of these pretty quickly, or easily, I would say. Which one is looking right at us? Maybe, maybe. Go ahead. 36 is the perimeter. 36 is the perimeter. We can assume that this is a regular shape, so all these are six. So then the perimeter is 36. Questions about that? We can go ahead and lace our formula up. 36. All right, now we need the apothem. Let's draw it. And ooh, I know what we can do. Please. We could do the Pythagorean theorem. We could do that. Or First, we could do 30, 60, 90, Let's try. see if it turns into that a wink, a wink. Mm -hmm. It seems like it does. Let's talk about it. Now, remember how many triangles exist 
inside this hexagon? Six. 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 All the way around the middle is how many degrees? 360. 360 degrees all the way around. Divided among six triangles. And you have 60 six, degrees in each six top. Degrees. Very good. You're learning. You're learning. Means they're all equilateral. Which that means is it's true. 30, 60 million. Yeah. Means when you cut one of them in half, so each it will make a 30, 30 60 90 90 triangle. Mm -hmm. So if you cut it in half, that's a 30, 60, 90 in there. I'm going to redraw the 30, 60, 90 now. Oh, okay. okay. Redraw that so we can look at that a little more. It's like, it's like a microscope. You see something and you zoom in. Yeah, yeah. See something you zoom in. It's really good. It's, it's making, this it's good. setting ourselves up. It is good. It's so good. Yeah, I'm really happy that you've adopted that. <laughs> this idea of like when I don't get something, it's good because I'm making progress. Mm -hmm. This is our little class mantra. <laughs> that and... Jeez. Okay, I was no. hoping for the other one. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, wow, well, variations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 16. Oh. You gotta have class culture. So... Here we go. That's hopefully not part of our class. Okay. <laughs> What's this piece down here? Three. Three, right, right. Half of the six, put it down. That's three. Mm -hmm. Now, it indeed is a 30, 60, 90. We divided 360 by six. We got six triangles, 60 each. We split it with the apothem. 30 each. There it is. Now, if three is the side across from 30 degrees, Oh. We're looking for the side across from 30. 60 degrees. Say it together. Go ahead. Three root three. Three root three. Three root three. Let's actually put the color Wait, in. Maybe someone would join in with me, but you know. <laughs> so you're like, I was like yeah. saying it's so I was like three. Three root three. That's right. And like you said, it's equilateral. Yeah. So for two reasons, you can also multiply this by what? Two. To get the hypotenuse. To get the hypotenuse. And you get Which would six. be nah, six. Kidding. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> That's good. You're thinking it through. Yeah. Great. So we have the apothem. We have the apothem. That's three root three. Put it down. What I want you guys to do is multiply that out and then write the total surface area. The apothem. Okay, so this is what? Um, 108, I think. Well, hold on. This is 18 times three. Not 54. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So 54. Oh, I did 36 times three first. I see. Oh, gotcha. One, and then I divided and then by two. This is 108 and then about 3. So this is the area of the base. Equals 54 root 3. Oh, that's 158 root 3. And now what's the total surface area? It's 54 root 3 plus 144. Very nice. Ooh. Because they do not combine, they're not like terms. And this problem is done. Ooh. Questions? Can it be fun? It, can it be. is fun. It is. It, it, not can it, it is. I'm glad. I'm glad. As a teacher, you're always like inviting people to have their own feelings. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I don't want to impose it as fun, but I think it's fun. All right. Speaking of fun, it's going to get more fun then. No sarcasm. <laughs> oh, wow. That is fast. All right, are we going to the... Um... Yeah, we're going to volume now. Yeah. Volume of prisms and cylinders. Everybody go. Email us at cornsmackdab.com. <laughs> cornsmackdab.com. Um, Cornelius Smackdab. For inquiries. For inquiries, yeah. Email um, customer service. Yeah. He basically. His name is Corn Smack. He will smack your corn for you. No, no corn needs a smack. It's a cereal. He's already registered as an actual website. What? Yeah, there's well, Smackdab is an Rich Light Entertainment LLC. Do Corn Smackdab. They're on social television. Yeah, Corn Smack. Cornelius Smackdab.com.